Hey guys, I'm Damien Smith, also known as Shady Gamer, as you may know by now. Um, finally, I'm online for once, so I'm going to quickly make this video. It goes out to a friend Joe from college, um, he's just asked me to make this video. So, it's going to be showing you how to make and uh, basically upload skins for your Minecraft character so when you're playing online, uh, you know, it changes what you look like. So, basically, you want to be going straight onto the Minecraft.net website, the same place as you download the game. You want to click on profile here when you're logged in, as you can see I'm logged in there. So you want to go on profile on the top, up here, on profile, and it will say profile there as well. So name, yada yada, skin, where it says change skin just underneath it, start download. You click on this, downloading reference skin, and then you save the image. Uh, basically it comes up with this image here, and then you right click, save as, and save as you normally would. Um, basically then I've just saved one already, so this one here is what I've saved it as. Um, that is the Steve image that you would normally get or that you would play as on, offline. So with this you can open it and edit it in whatever sort of thing you want. I mean I'm just going to use paint as an example. Um, then you will zoom in and you can edit it however you want. So you can use the, obviously the, uh, the parts of the bodies are fairly easy to work out. Uh, the face obviously in the body, arm and legs. Whereas the legs and arms are symmetrical, so whichever whichever one you draw, um, it will be symmetrical on the other side of the body. You just have to obviously work out um, which which one is which. I believe that the leg and the arm are the right arm and leg, so that you can uh, you, you whatever you draw on there will be copied over, reversed on the other one. So basically, once you've uh, drawn it all out and saved it as, um, for instance, this is the one I use. Um, this is my one. So there you go, look, there's the, uh, the, the leg. But when you've saved it as the image, you can go onto browse, and then there you go. You can use these images when you're in the selection that you've, wherever you've saved them as. You just double click it and then upload. And then here you go, you get the message your skin has been changed. So, well, that's the, that's the one of the ways you can make skins. The other way is to go on multiple forms, this is just one for example um, and then you can just look at player skins, so these are skins that people have made them and drawn up and whatever and they've put on this forum for other people's use so uh, for instance I'm just going to use this one here because it looks pretty cool here you go, Assassin's Creed, so tribute to the awesome game that is and here you go, for this one it, it's fairly easy, I mean most, most websites that you download the form that you download the uh, skins from will be fairly, it will be obvious where you download it from. There you go, then click to install the skin. <laughs> Tricky out there. Uh, obviously not, but whatever. You, you do that and then use that skin and you would then save it wherever you want and then upload it in exactly the same way. I'll just put that one back on. But that's, that's the rough summary. So thanks for watching, I'm David Smith, also known as Shady Gamer, and this is Minecraft.